sorry to intros. Hello everyone. This is today's mood. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I do on my downtime. And I had a taste for this for a while now. Part of Thanksgiving's turkey, but not Thanksgiving turkey. Alright guys, here we go. I am dicing some celery up and I would say maybe uh, three stalks of celery and I washed it before I started so you want to make sure you do that as well we want to put that to the side here <clears throat> but you want to make sure that it's not in big chunks guys so we're gonna make some um, turkey and dumplings today um, that was something that I thought well, actually, I haven't had it. I'll be honest, I haven't had it before. But I thought that would be a good mixture today. So you guys can come along for the ride. And let's get it. Let's go. So I am on the other side kind of cleaning. And as I go, I do have some fresh green beans that I have on the side there, as you can see. That's been cleaned. And um, I'm going to sit that on the other side for a minute. <laughs> All right. So we're going to kind of bring those. Like, I think I have like four turkey wings there. Actually, there's two turkey wings and then I split them. So, um, you know, it's easy to cook when it's uh, cut up. However, I've already seasoned them just a little bit, but I'm going to show you what seasonings I use. So we have some sloppy mama. Everybody should know about that by now. I just put a little bit because it has a little kick on it. Um, preferably, I love my turkey wings or my meat with a little kick, not too much. Um, so those were clean. Actually thawed out and clean. And then I put them in this foil pan to season them, kind of let it marinate with that good old, good old seasoning on it. So I have, didn't show you guys, but I have garlic pepper, onion powder, garlic powder in there with some fresh minced garlic. Just cleaning up, it's a habit. All right guys, so this meal should take maybe 20, 20 to 30 minutes because I've already pre-cooked the turkey wings. You know, they take a while, maybe two hours. So this is my turkey broth that I have here. And bear with me so I can get my camera kind of focus okay there we go so that right there will be the uh, turkey um broth that i boiled the turkey in and i am going to add some of those celery uh some celery to that i also added a chicken broth flavor to give it some flavor and guys, I love that you, you guys, you, you have to um, take your broth, and some people use water or the um, box broth, but I love the idea of, of the um, flavor in making the broth from scratch. So that's what I'm going to proceed and finish to do. Um, as you see, there's a can over there, and that is cream of chicken. Um, you can use cream of chicken or cream of celery any cream base um, is what my mom used to do it's fine I just poured out some flour white flour um, and I do have some some mixture of flour sugar just a little bit of sugar a pinch of the yeah, uh, Himalayan salt and we're gonna go and make some more Broth. So I have the biscuit mixture right here, guys. 
And this is homemade mixture, biscuit mixture from scratch. So I'm gonna use that kind of like for the base of the dumplings. So we're gonna make some dumplings from scratch. Oh my gosh. When I tell y'all that was good, good, good eating. I got this from the Dutch market. So we put some of that biscuit mix in there. And then we're gonna put, I think a take a uh, half of a cup and a what was a cup and a half? I'm not sure. I can get that quickly and I'll leave the ingredients at the bottom. But use this just like touch and go with me. If you want to receive uh, the um, whole recipe, I will put it at the bottom. So we're gonna take this little scoop, which I believe it's like a three four cup of white flour and remember I say you can always add but you never can take away so I just use two of those and if you're not a, a measurer like I, I am not um, you can kind of go with the flow but some people love the idea of making their food from scratch so try to give them an idea but this would be a nice how to make turkey and dumplings all right so we got that in that pot while our pot is uh, boiling our broth is boiling so we want that to get kind of hot um where it's just boiling just a little bit and we're going to add our soup base So guys, I'm going to take this mixture, we're going to take some turkey broth and we're going to put it in our dry mixture. And I kind of like go a little, put a little in at a time, because you want it to be kind of like a thick consistency. And if you can make it, not smooth, but kind of chunky, um, but, but not chunky, not smooth. <laughs> Cause we don't want no cake batter. That won't work with the dumplings, guys. So I'm just gonna use some of the turkey broth and kind of mix it until it, I get it to the consistency that I would like. So you wanna make enough broth because what I did was I added a bouillon cube in there, which was chicken flavor, and I added some more uh, water to that pot because I was using some of it for the preparing of the uh, dumplings. But you want enough sauce, and oh yeah, don't forget the oil because you don't want your your dumplings to be dry guys so, uh, so the uh, oil is kind of like um makes it it doesn't make it uh what am i trying to say it makes it moist basically so you see the consistency of the uh, dumplings you want it to kind of be like that so you can either use your scoop or a spoon or your hand whichever one you prefer but I would say because this was a last minute meal that I thought about, you can make your dumplings ahead of time and put them in the fridge. Drop them in the hot, uh, the hot water or flavored water. So now guys, I am opening a can of cream of chicken, I believe. And we gonna put two cans of those in the pot, in the boiling hot water.
Now at this point, I'm allowing that pot to get really hot because we're going to add the soup. And you can take a, a whisk or a spoon to get the chunks out. So in the pot, you want it to get really smooth, consistent. Alright? So we're adding the chicken soup to that. And yeah, um, just gonna be a moment here, guys. If you like what you see and you don't know who I am, my name is Katina. And today's move, um, today's move channel is based basically on today's move, whatever Katina's move is. So I really love to cook, guys. Um, I was a trained chef, so I love to cook. It's just part of something we have to do every day. Um, as well as us building our brand and uh, on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. So, if you like what you see, please subscribe, like, and watch the full video. Don't stop now. Alright, so you remember that you want to make that sauce in the pan as smooth as you can. I have the uh, stove on low. I'm going to proceed to put the other pan for the cream of chicken. You can mix cream of chicken, soup, or cream of celery, or cream of mushroom, whatever you prefer. But this is cream of chicken. I love the um, color of it. And it just makes it, to me, just makes it, looks really good. Presentation. It's always a plus. So now, guys, at this point, I am adding the rest of the diced celery in it. Because what you don't want is the celery to be soggy in there. You want it to be soft, but not too soggy. So that's why I added some at the beginning for flavor and at the end this will kind of marinate with the dumplings second can of cream of chicken soup guys I was uh, and a little impatient guys because I'm like oh my gosh I'm hungry and I'm trying to make my best meal this was awesome it was really really good Just kind of trying to get you guys a good view there.
all right guys so i think we are almost ready to make our dumplings i'm just gonna wash my hands right quick and we're gonna get back make that sauce really smooth So I am adding a whole chicken pudding bouillon cube to the cream uh, cream of uh, chicken soup mixture. And these are the soft ones, guys. I get them from the International app. I really like the, these the best. Um, my preference, of course. Because they're really soft, you don't have to use the whole one. The other ones are kind of salty, so if you're looking um, to have something that's low in sodium and you want flavor, you can use that. So we put some dried parsley in there. Some more slap your mama. Oh my goodness, you can never have too much of that. So I'm just preparing the flavor, guys, to put the dumplings in. I'm turning the owl down. So we're going to add some of this chicken broth that I had in the refrigerator. Now we say probably a half a cup of your broth. So what this is going to do is going to start to thicken. I added some pink salt to that as well. Some more of that. Slap your mama. When I tell y'all that slap your mama, I don't know what they did with that sauce, but that season right there, right there, is awesome. You can pretty much put that on anything. Your fish, your chicken, your vegetables, you know. Alright, so I have a box of, excuse me, pie crust, right? So I want to just take them, and I usually put both in, make your, uh, my own dumplings, and I use to slice them like that, really thin, because the pie crust is going to inflate, so you don't want it to be real big balls, but that's what should be enough, it's usually, so I put half of the pie crust in there. And if you want them smaller bit or bigger, you can do that as well. It's no wrong or wrong or right way to actually do it. But I just like to cut mine up. And then I'll place them in there. Give them about three, four minutes, right? Then we're gonna add and make out dumplings. Baby, when we're crying, that's right. You guys, you know you can actually make your sauce in the crock pot. Um, you don't have to stand here like I did, but I just love the process of cooking. It's really relaxing to me. Um, you can put it in the crock pot as far as the, um, the broth, 
it get hot it can get hot in there as well and then you put your dumplings in there and add your chicken or turkey is what we're using and then let it sit and forget it for a minute nice winter savory meal I thought those were really cute. These as well as the homemade um, dumplings. Putting two kinds and make it in different ways in one dish actually gives it, gives it texture um, with flavor, different flavors. You know, came all good to me. If you would like this recipe, I'll leave it at the bottom of the description. We almost there, y'all. Alright guys, so we have my old faithful, oh my gosh, always must keep one of these in the cabinet. Choose for 15 minutes, open frying as well. So what I did is I add some of the juice and a little bit of cornstarch. We just mixed it up and we're going to actually put that in the pot. And as you can see, the pie crust, which are the dumplings, if you can't get to make your own dumplings from scratch, pie crust is the same. So I am making some dumpling balls with my hands. And they don't have to be perfect. This is like your yeah, great grandma and your grandma or your mama's dumplings. And you just want to kind of put them in the pan in the pot. Just drop them in there and let it do what it do. They are going to be nice and moist and very good. So guys, you know, some people love a lot of dumplings. For me, personally, I love a lot of dumplings and my chicken dumplings, my you know, anything that has dumplings, I love extra, extra dumplings, so I made maybe about 13 of those. And if you do, do use a lot, make a lot of the um, dumplings, you always can take it, put it in a piece of soil, foil, or saran wrap. And put them in the freezer. You can use them for another dish. You see how cute they are? The little balls, they just form. I'm 
loving it. So we're just gonna finish. This would be a great meal to make with kids. You know, they like to get their hands messy. And when my kids were little, they loved to be in the kitchen. It can get a little messy, guys, but guess what? I didn't take long. So at this point, I'm going to turn the owl off. Put some dried parsley in there. And when you're adding your dry um, ingredients, guys, because they really just have like a smoky, dry taste, you can never, you know, it can never be like a salty or too much of it. And you also can use fresh ingredients, fresh parsley as well. Celery seed. Got about that. So, guys, we are going to let this simmer for a moment. Let those dumplings get done, girl. Let them get done. With that Alice off. Also, I left out a little bit of the fresh garlic. Gotta have the garlic. Just think all of those flavors, guys. That thing will be off the chain. Watch it. Watch it. We make this recipe. And if you would like to share it with me, send me a picture or DM me and say, hey, today's Mocha Team. We made the meal and we enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, guys. This is our finishing. So there's going to be two bowls here, one with the turkey, I put shredded turkey in there and I put that little wing on the side to kind of give it some flavor and look presentation wise. So my bowl says savor the flavor, right? And 
and then I have another bowl which is going to be the dumplings soup no meat dumpling soup bam there you go isn't that nice to see those dumplings guys I think though those look really really great let me know what you think comment below let me know if I did justice for you guys and I enjoy as always how to